Ah, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. This is Mr. Shakespeare again with you on the 5th of October, 2023. I'm here with Psychic Medium and remote viewer, Liz Cross. How are you doing today, Liz? Great, thank you. Just a reminder, a couple of announcements. Uh, we are going to put this video public. Uh, if you are not a Patreon subscriber, patreon.com forward slash remote viewing and beyond, a lot of you are messaging in the comments, Liz, do this, Liz, do that. Well, a lot of these things we do already, but they're locked behind Patreon. Okay, so if you want access to those videos, it doesn't cost very much. You just join the Patreon. Again, patreon.com forward slash remote viewing and beyond. This channel is not monetized and probably will never be monetized due to like YouTube not liking psychics. A uh, second announcement, we are not financial advisors. This is not official financial advice. This is psychic entertainment only. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to look into these new Yield Max ETFs. ETFs are exchange traded funds. I must admit, I don't know much about them, if anything. Um, but we're going to have a look. It's probably best if we don't know too much about these. From what I can tell, um, these are not investing directly in the company and you don't benefit from any share uh, dividend payout from the company. But there must be some sort of format of how uh, they pay out their yields. And I I mean, we, we, I will have to look into this a little bit more. But for now, what we're going to look into is do they keep paying out? How they do it is secondary to do they keep doing it? Um, so, Liz, uh, yieldmaxetf.com. Yes. I. This is all new. And as most of you know, I roam around in these dividend investing groups. And this is a new thing to hit the scene. Now, a lot of hardcore dividend investors won't touch this. They say that the distribution rates are too scary. Uh, something has to go wrong. This is too good to be true. And uh, But then some people have been investing in this stuff, just playing around with it with money that they can afford to lose, okay? So they're putting, you know, just a few dollars in, just like on crypto, and they're starting to see these big distribution rates. They also have the drip factor on. What is the drip factor, Liz? Well, the drip factor is where any payouts are automatically reinvested back into the funds, for those of you that don't know. And they're making a pretty penny off of this stuff. Again, they know the risks. They know that... They could lose all of their money at any given moment, and they're prepared to take that risk. So don't go throwing the farm at these folks. Seriously, the best way you play this game is you throw a little bit of money in, recoup your initial investment, and then just play with the house money and see what it does. So how would we measure these distribution rates? Would we use yield max or is there a, uh, I guess they're on investing.com. What do you think, Mr. Shakespeare? Because the, the, you know, a lot of skill of the, um, sorry, a big skill in remote viewing is hitting the right target. So what do you think? Investing.com? I don't know. I don't know. Are they on investing.com? I don't know. They may not be. Okay. Well, I'll take yield max because they are, they are bound by the SEC rules. These are legitimate funds that are on the stock market. What I like about them right now is that they're like 13, 14 bucks. They're relatively low cost. So we want to check the distribution rate and we also want to check the fund amount. So so do they increase? So you're seeing not only a, a massive dividend, but 
are they increasing and are you getting a capital gain as well? Um, so anyway, we'll use yield max and see how this is. Goes. I've just uh, I've just looked up the first one on and you are correct. I mean, they actually you can look at them up on investing.com. OK, great. All right. So let's go investing.com. Now, some of them are so new, like the uh, XOMO, that's an Exxon representation, JPMO, that's JP Morgan. Um, yeah. See, that's already gone up, the, the 1430. So I'm wondering if maybe two or three years out, when we've seen a solid performance from these these funds, if we do, are they going to jump up in price significantly? So then you're going to see maybe uh, shares being sold at thirty, forty, fifty dollars, and uh, right. But one of the one of the problems, well, one of the things we've got to get uh, deal with, Liz, is investing dot com is going to give you the price. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it isn't going to tell you what the yield is on it. Okay. That's just, and it's exactly the same as, say, Hex. As she, you know, Hex has a yield on it because if you stake it, but it also has a price. Some people deal with the price only and don't worry about the yield. I mean, you could buy this one today, this yield max Tesla option, right, and then sell it next week. I mean, it doesn't matter what the yield is. You bought it into it today, you sold it a week later. So we might, I mean, you've got yield max is where we're going to find the, um, yield stated i would imagine okay. uh, and then investing.com is where we're going to find the price yield max etfs.com right hold on a minute this is this is a real interesting thing because this is so new and again as we have seen over and over again the most important move you could make is getting in early with any investment, whether you were buying gold, whether you're putting in money to mutual funds, ETFs, cryptos, it's always the getting in early that is the massive payoff that everybody's looking for. You know, the people that bought into Amazon, Facebook, Google, you know, at first glance and they threw some money at it. Well, they're laughing now. They've made a fortune. People that threw money into Tesla when it was first launched, you know, they, they've all made their money. So the trick is, again, to get in early and seeing as this is the first year. And that's why a lot of people don't like it. They're they're too scared. You know, they, they don't want to put any money towards these funds. They don't have a, a track record, a history. And again, this is why you should not put any money in any investment that you cannot afford to lose. Don't call Liz for a reading a year from now because you've remortgaged your house and you've fallen flat on your face. Okay, don't do it because you have been told time and time again. The other thing I'm going to say is all of you out there consulting with your guys, Okay, you don't even know who your guides are. You're consulting with your guides on your own personal investments. Why? Why you think I actually choose my own guide? Oh, let me let me see. I'm going to ask my guides to see if this is a worthwhile investment. My guides stick to my soul plan. Okay? If it's in my soul plan, that I am supposed to fall flat on my face and lose all my money and declare bankruptcy, well, then my guides were right <laughs> because they gave me bad information to accelerate that soul plan. You should never ask your guides for financial advice or any advice pertaining to your life. You need a non-emotionally uh, involved being to give you that information if somebody's emotionally involved in your life forget it it's going to be wrong okay so let's take yield max out how far do you want to go I don't know, a year a year's pushing it um as we see when i do these future self or future time movements 
I don't like to go too far out simply well, because. Let's go. Let's go six months then. Okay, it's based upon the you know the most probable outcome, which can change. Um, okay, so six months from now is April. So April, what's today's date? I don't even know. Fifth. April 5th, April 5th, 2023, 2023, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Are we standard time or daylight time then? Daylight. Okay, the spirit just corrected me. Daylight. Okay, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, what would you like to know, Mr. Shakespeare? Um, what is the... How, sorry. How have the distribution rates been for, say... TSLY, APLY, NVDY, so Apple, Tesla, and NVIDIA. <laughs> okay, and I don't know what OARK is. Um, I don't know mm. if you want to look that up real quick. Uh, TSLY, so how have the distribution rates been for TSLY over the past six months? Great is the answer I just got back. Great. Why do you say great? It's maintained, uh, on average, at least a 30% yield. Okay. So it's down from what it is currently, but okay, fine. 30%. Well, on average. 30% is still good. It is. 30%. And what about, and what about Apple, APLY, the APL, Apple one? Uh, how has the APLY, uh, the Apple one, performed? It's not as good. Has it still maintained around a 14%? No, that seems to have gone down to around a 10% yield. Now, given today's market, that's still pretty good. These uh -huh. things, they distribute monthly. So let's ask this question. Have TSLY and APLY, are they still paying out monthly dividends? Yes. So these things are still paying out monthly dividends. And over the last six months, have they paused the di uh, the distribution at all? No, they haven't. And I tell you what I'm picking up also, Mr. Shakespeare, is lots of people are flooding into this space. So let's ask this question. Is the distribution rate being uh, paid out so high because of the new people in the space? No. It's being paid out based upon performance. Now, this gives me a lot more confidence because these things are regulated by the SEC as opposed to crypto, which is the wild, wild west of investing. Um, what else would you like to go? Let's do NVDY. Yeah, and, let's do that one. Yeah, look at that one. And, and these rates today that are showing up on the screen are actually low. Uh, NVDY and TSLY were paying out yields of 60 to 70 percent a couple of months ago. So NVDY, has it maintained around a 50% distribution rate over the last six months? No. Is it higher, lower? It's lower. Has it maintained? It's higher than 40%. So it looks like out of TSLY, APLY, NVDY, NVDY is a better performer overall, still maintaining a distribution rate of around 40 to 50%. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's okay. excellent. Right. So does the dividend, let's just re let's just uh reconfirm. Is there any correlation between the dividend payout rate and the amount of new investors in the funds? Is there any correlation between the dividend rate and the new investors in the fund? No, these distribution rates are based upon performance only. I feel that they are not allowed to play the liquidity game, right? Where well, you it, would be, it would be a Ponzi scheme if it was. So, I mean, you know, that's what I'm saying. Ah, they're too, these guys are being watched and hounded by the SEC, and I'm getting that very strongly. The SEC has given them this opportunity to see how this goes. We'll shut them down at any possible, you know, turn that they can. Mm -hmm. If they are not following every single regulation, but these guys 
it's based upon performance only. So the liquidation is not like crypto. You know, in crypto, it depends upon more people coming into the space, then they're left holding the bag while you pull your money out. That's not how these are operating. Hmm. Okay. Very interesting. I wonder if you can buy those over there. Don't know. No idea. I'll have to have a look. Uh, right. Let's have a look at um, go on to investing.com, pull investing.com out for six months, please. Okay. Uh, April 5th, April 5th, 2024, 2024, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. What would you like to know? Right. Let's have a look at the price. Higher or lower than $14.30? Is TSLY per share higher or lower than $14.30? TSLY. Oh, TSLY. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, TSLY. Is it higher or lower than $14.30? Yes, it's much higher. Okay, higher than 20 bucks. Is it higher than 20? It's sitting around 20. So you're not only getting a gain in the dividend distribution yield rate, but you're also seeing at least a $5 per share increase on the price as yeah. well. Wow. Well, that's about 30%. That's uh, isn't it? 142, a bit more than 30 odd percent, 35 percent. So it's uh -oh. quite impressive. Yeah, you've got your trusty calculator out, Mr. Shakespeare. Oh, I, I did that in that. I did that one in my head. I can't find my, <laughs> can't find my trusty calculator at the moment. What? Yeah, I know it's gone. All right, this is serious. I have no idea where it is. It's buried somewhere. Oh my god, we're gonna have to send you a new one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Right. Let's check uh, NVIDIA. Yes, let's do NVIDIA. So uh, Now, there are some that aren't even paying out yet. And uh, they're saying that they're, they're poised to pay out a 66% yield on the first payout. The first payout is usually quite high, and then yeah. it sort of tapers off a little bit. So... There's another one, I believe it's called C-O-N-D-Y. I was watching the discussion last night and everybody's waiting for that payout, uh, but they don't know when it's going to be. Right. Okay. Um, do you want to look at, ask the same question for NVIDIA, higher or lower than $22.26? $22.26? Yeah. NVDY, is it higher or lower than? It's, it's much higher. It's even higher than $30. Right. Okay. Well, that's, you know, that's rolling on to about 40%, isn't it? So. Yeah. This is big. I'm telling you, this is big stuff. And when more people flood into this space, um, you're going to start to see, you know, we, oh, let's ask this question. When more people flood into the yield max space, are we going to see higher or lower dividends? That, that, that's when you start to see it settle down a bit. But these guys who are running these yield max funds, they're professionals. There's actually a few interviews on them uh, on YouTube, uh, interviews with them on YouTube. And they're professional. They go in and they explain everything about these funds. They're not stupid. They're not going to do what a lot of, you know, self-titled <laughs> traders you know they, i'm a day trader i'm this i'm that and i throw all my money at one fund and then i lose it all they're not going to do that i used to work for some hedge fund uh traders and uh they only ever used half a percent if that of the pot now there is somebody on youtube following their moves the yield max moves they're not even using like half a percent of the pot they're not they're using a very small amount. They're making very cautious moves and they're still getting these big yields. And they're very um, transparent as well. They tell you exactly what they're doing. You can see what their um, strategy is for the day or over the next couple of days. And uh, I, I like these funds, Mr. Shakespeare. I have to say, I'm not personally invested in NVDY. Um, I do have a couple of TSLYs, but I, that's just to see what was happening. 
But uh, I'm not personally really emotionally involved in any of this stuff. But I have to say, I really like it. Right. Wow. Okay. So I think this all looks very positive. Mm. Again, you don't want to put everything into TSLY or NVDY. You want to create that snowball effect. What's the snowball effect? Well, you want to build many snowballs. And when these snowballs are going downhill, you know, things can happen. Trees can get in the way. Uh, you know what? They can fly off the cliff. Uh, so you want to make sure you have a, a whole uh, range of snowballs. So you're not reliant upon one snowball. You have to maintain, you know, a versatile, a diverse portfolio. All right. Well, I'm going to stop this one here. I'm excited about this. Thank you.